This brief video is going to show you how you can use a digitizer tablet and pen or a stylus on an appropriate touch screen to do red lines in Bluebeam. This eliminates the need to print large scale drawings or 11 by 17 drawings, neither of which most people have at home during this work from home situation. So I have a couple of buttons on my tablet here that I've pre-programmed. So I just pressed the one that enabled the pen option. And as I hover my pen above the tablet area, it moves the cursor around. So I can see where I'm going to put the pen down before I put it down. And it's also pressure sensitive. So a light and then a heavy press and then a light to heavy press. So it's pretty nice. Another button I have on this tablet that I've customized is undo. So I can back up a little bit. I'll press the pen option again. And then I can just simply draw right on the screen in a fairly easy way. I'm going to press this third customize button, which enables the highlighter. So maybe I want to highlight this area where the change in the path is. And by the way, if you recognize this project, I just randomly opened a folder on the LHB project server and found the first PDF that looked like a set of construction documents that I could modify. So I'll hit the button to go back to the pen mode. So it's really easy. make changes or red lines. Because I'm using a tablet, I have a little eye to hand coordination thing I'm trying to do. If you happen to have an LHB device that has a touch screen that supports a stylus, you'll be able to use that and have a little better eye hand coordination. So I'm changing the color of the highlighter to red and then making it somewhat transparent. So maybe there's a couple of these benches, for example, that need to move. And while you're doing just constant pressing, you'll see some glitchy stuff happen. But once you take your pen off the tablet, it seems to clear itself up pretty nicely. So maybe there's some benches, picnic benches, that are going to stay. And then some that are going to go away. And of course, you can do clouding. Hit undo if I don't like the look of that arrow and be able to clean it up a little bit. If I go back to the pen, just like with the highlighter, I can pick different colors. There's shades of gray across the bottom. So if you even wanted to sketch, and there's much better programs than Bluebeam to sketch, but again, if you're doing a red line, and you need to do something quick. Building. Now I'm just kind of moving fast, so it's getting a little messy. But really easy to make changes, and then you can switch to the regular mouse and zoom in and out. This is all going to get saved with this PDF. These are all uh, individual markups that show up down here at the bottom, I believe. So you can see later you could select these things like that exists and delete that if needed. And then once you save this PDF, you can send it off to somebody to delegate some changes or just to make some additional embellishments in a presentation document. 
This also might be used to capture client input during a meeting with them. That's all I have.